Hello everyone, it's Rack from Rack Plays and today I'm doing a brand new unboxing video. In today's unboxing video is going to be another Funko unboxing. Uh, this Funko unboxing is going to be the two um, newly released uh, PUBG Funkos. So yeah, in our last video I did two Dune Funkos. And this one, this time I'm doing the uh, the two PUBG Funkos that came out. Uh, and unlike the Dune one, uh, at least in those I've seen, there's no exclusive. Uh, but uh, just as a matter of fact, these two. Uh, so let's start off with this guy, the uh, Sandhawk Survivor. All right, this is what he looks like. He looks pretty cool. I like his I like his helmet. Here is what he looks like. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Something new. They actually put the mask down and up. Uh, I really like that. That's actually pretty cool. I never, I never really saw Funko do that before. You only just put the mask down. This is him with his, uh, I guess, his helmet on, and he's ready for combat. He holds, he's holding a little weapon here, like a little golden pistol. I like his, I like his shirt, like he's from the desert or something. He has little shoes. Yeah, this is a pretty cool Funko, and there's like little, little scratch marks on the helmet. That's supposed to be there, though. It's supposed to be like realistic. I like the idea, but I like, I like this cool. I like this most of all. But I think both of them do that. I don't know yet. Both of them do have the. Helmets. I don't know if all Funkos will have the helmets. I mean, just these two right now, but I'm I'm assuming they'll make some more PUBG Funko with Pops soon. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the fact that you can just pull it down. You can see you can see their eyes through there. So uh, yeah, I like the I like this. Um, I, I like I also like his face. I like the eyebrows. I like the fact that I like his little beard. And yeah, I like this. Yeah, I really like this Funko Pop. But it definitely looks pretty cool. Okay, and the other one is the Lone Survivor. Oh, that just kind of came out. Oh, no, that's fine. Just a little box fell. I got it though. Okay, so this one's this one's pretty cool too. So this one, um, yeah, once again he uh, has the ability just to uh, put his little helmet down up again. He this time he's holding not really a golden pistol, more like just a regular one. He has yeah, he's wearing like a little uh, suit and tie and little pants and um, shoes. Uh, and this he actually has a little bit of blood on him. Not real blood, but like you know, pain blood. I guess that's supposed to be like if you just be, a, be an opponent or something. On the back, he has a, a backpack. He has a little gun and a uh, a frying pan. The frying pan can kind of move. Not really. Don't You shouldn't play with it, though. And um, once again, you can put his helmet on. You can kind of see his eyes once again. It's kind of like the same character. You know, he has a beard, uh, some eyes, little eyebrows. So, yeah. I still like this, I still like this idea. Never really saw a uh, Funko that could really do that. Uh, like I, I do have my uh, Saitama Tronco Funko where you can just take the hair off, but this is different. This one you can actually, you know, um, actually just put, put his little hoe down up, which I never thought that would be possible. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I like this one too. I think I'm more, I think I more know this character a bit more rather than this one. Even if they are kind of like the same person, just in different costumes. But I don't, well, I don't care. That's like using your uh, molds to your advantage, or whatever is used to make Funkos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I actually do like these Funko Pops. I think they're pretty cool. They're really well detailed. They resemble the character from the games, uh, or characters from the games. Uh, even I never really saw this character before, but he looks pretty cool. I also like the idea, too. You just put the helmets down, and it looks like they're ready for battle. Uh, but yeah, these are the only two. But yeah, another recommend you get. You uh, get different when you guys uh, get. You, different when you all um, get these. They're pretty cool, and this is the only other type of PUBG merch out now. You probably could find a shirt or something, but in terms of toys or statues, this is really it, or all I could really find. At least that's official, too. I don't know. But these are the only two PUBG Fungo Pops that are actually out yet. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any others out, but these are both of them. Uh, they uh, seem pretty cool. Uh, like I said, and yeah, I don't recommend that you buy these Funko Pops. And yep, my, my mom and dad apparently found these for me at uh, Walmart. I, I heard of these coming out, but I didn't even know. So yeah, shout out to you, Mom, Mom and Dad. Thanks for getting these and for this YouTube video being made. Anyway, it's gonna be guys. Like I said, I recommend you get you get you two, uh, you guys get these. And um, yeah, I recommend you all get these. So yeah, the because these would be cool to add to your uh, PUBG collection or so or Star Realm if you're a fan of PUBG. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Bye.